What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin and today we're coming in with a video talking about my first time doing Kratom. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you do. This has been super highly requested so I figured I'd fuck around and drop it. It was kind of a spontaneous thing but I'll get into that. Before I dive into it, I do want to mention a couple things. First off, big thank you and shout out to Lucas Folander for being the first $5 patron on my Patreon page. Everybody who pledges that amount or more gets a shout out so big thank you to him. Shout out to him. Thanks for showing love. Link will be in the description to that as well. Second, follow Higgs on Instagram. Link will be in the description. Just fucking do it. Don't ask any questions. And without further ado, we're keeping the intro short today because I'm excited for this one. Let's dive right into it. So this has been probably one of my most highly requested first time videos that I still have yet to do. And also, I think I, I want to also point out real quick. I think I'm saying it right when I say Kratom, but I'm not exactly sure. I, I never really knew how to pronounce it, so I was, like, cross-checking my references before I hit this record button. Like, I watched, like, three different videos and listened to how people say it, and they all said it like this. Because every time I mispronounce something, I get, like, a million comments, and top comment will always be, like, Yo, Goblin, you mispronounce this. And then even though it's clearly top comments, so if I ever read my comments, I would see it. There's then, like, 20 more comments that are like, yeah, you know, by the way, Goblin, just wanted to let you know you actually didn't say Kratom correctly. Thank you. And then someone will reply to that comment, be like, yeah, thanks for the heads up, bro. By the way, Goblin, just wanted to let you know you actually didn't say that correctly. Thanks again. And then someone will reply to that guy and be like, fuck you. He actually didn't say it right. By the way, Goblin, you mispronounced Kratom. Thanks again, Goblin. And it gets a little tiring. So yeah, none of that, please. I hope I'm saying it right. But either way, Let's dive right into it. So, this happened yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. This story is fresh off the burner, baby. And this was a very spontaneous decision. Me and my boy, who we're going to call Kevin, very common character in my stories, we ran up to the vape store, and we were just kind of shopping around. He was looking for some juice, and I didn't really need anything, but I went with anyways because I was the one with the car. And, you know, he's looking around. I'm looking at all the glass in the vape shop, and... You know, Kratom has been a pretty, like, commonplace thing in most smoke shops and vape shops, at least in Illinois, for a few years now. You know, it, it started popping up from what I remember, probably like three years ago it started showing up in vape stores, and... You know, it's always been something that I, like, knew existed, but I didn't really want to go out of my way to try. Like, I, I didn't really have any interest or curiosity about it because from what I'd heard, it was similar to opiates, and I was never a big opiate fan, so I was like, all right, well, I don't really see a reason to try that. That just sounds like a waste of money. So, you know, on this particular day, we're at the vape store looking around. I'm looking in the glass, and they have these little, like, liquid kratom concentrate containers. And they were these tiny little 8 milliliter bottles. And, you know, I was looking at them, and I was a little curious. And I kind of jokingly said to Kevin, I was like, yo, we should fucking try this. And he was like, how much are they? And there's no price on it. So eventually what we did was we had one of the guys come over, and we asked him how much it costs. And he said 20 bucks for the 8 milliliter. Now, to give you guys an idea, for those of you who don't know, I, I did a little Google research before I actually tried it because I wasn't sure what a proper dosage is. You know, it looked like a pretty tiny bottle. And from what I gathered, it sounded like for a first timer, we should each drink a quarter of that eight milliliters. So two milliliters each because this was the Kratom concentrate. This wasn't like just pure Kratom, which from what I can gather, you have to smoke a decent amount of to get the effects. You know, with this... It's it's a lot more potent. It's like the wax of the Kratom world from what I can understand. So the guy said the bottle was only 20 bucks. So I'm a little on the fence about it, but Kevin seemed a little more down for it. So he was just like, yeah, fuck it. I'll take one. So I was just like, oh, wow. Okay. So then he asked me, he's like, yo, you want to try some too? I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'll try some too. So we end up checking out, you know, he pays for his juice. He got a couple bottles of vape juice and then the bottle of Kratom. I was just kind of there to like drive him. And then after that, we left the vape shop. And, you know, let me tell you, we, we took a good look at this shit. And there was a McDonald's right across the street. So we hit the McDonald's and immediately figured we're probably gonna have to mix this with a drink. So we got a couple drinks. I copped that good large Coke. He got that Dr. Pepper. And I think Dr. Pepper would have been a better choice to mix this with because the flavor is a little stronger, but I'll get to that. So we speed the fuck back to Kevin's house. I'm talking 
quick time. I'm talking never moved so fast in my whole life. And we get back to Kevin's house and, you know, we're pretty excited at this point. I wasn't excited necessarily because, you know, I was looking forward to an opiate like high, but it was more, I was just excited because like, fuck it, a free experience. And in the back of my head, I knew like, this is totally going to make a good video. So, <laughs> so, you know, either way, like that was my driving force in saying yes to trying this. When he asked me, I just thought in the back of my head, like, yo, I've had a million Kratom comments. Like I should probably just do it if it's like in my face, you know? So either way, you know, we, we get back to his house and we immediately start kind of like eyeballing how much to pour in our drinks. And what I found was with the lid of this thing, about a cap and a half was equivalent to a quarter. So I, I you know, pour the cap and a half of each of our drinks. He goes inside and he cleans out our, our bong a little bit. And we figure we're probably going to want to smoke with this stuff too. So we had our weed on standby. We had a nice bong on standby, uh, standby, excuse me. And we have a nice tall bong that we keep at Kevin's house. It's my bong, but I don't really want to keep it in my garage because it's giant. And Kevin didn't really have like a solid piece. So I just kind of left it at his house. You know, I'm, I, I just went over one day with this bong, like the day I got it. And then I just left it there. I was just like, yo, bro, can I just like leave this bong here like it's still mine but like you can use it and he was like yeah and I was like all right so either way you know he goes and sets up the bong cleans it out puts some fresh water in it I pour up our drinks and let me tell you this this stuff looks like shit water it looks like sewage water it's just this like it I don't know if I call it thick but just this like dark dooky brown color liquid, you know, it just looked really unappealing and it smelled, we took a little whiff of it. It kind of smelled like a cheap, like weak vodka, like very weak vodka. And from what I tasted after I mixed it with my drink, that's exactly what it tasted like too. It made my Coke kind of taste like I put like a little drop of Jack in there. Like I put like half a shot of Jack in my like full large Coke, you know, it, it just gave this very weak kick to the drink and it didn't taste very good but I think I think the coke definitely helped quite a bit and from what Kevin reported to me the Dr. Pepper made it taste pretty decent from what I could gather so either way I slam my drink as quick as I can I'm talking I've never drank so fast in my whole life I didn't know how long this shit was going to take to set in I didn't know how quickly I needed to ingest it so I just slammed it I was kind of excited at this point because I was a little more curious after reading up online and DMing a friend of mine on Twitter and asking him about it because he tweets about it all the time and you know i had been hearing nothing but good things so you know, we, we sip on our drinks, I slam the fuck out of my Coke, and then we smoke a little bit of Bud, and, you know, as we're ripping this bong, I want to say maybe 20 to 30 minutes go by from when I finish my drink, and it was a very, very strange feeling, oh god, I, I hope you guys didn't hear that Windows notification, fuck off Windows 10, I'm actually sick of this shit, alright, either way, you know, it was a very weird experience, I was just expecting to feel almost like, just, I, I was expecting to feel exactly like if I took some hydros or if, if I like popped an oxy, but that's not really what it was at all. It was a very, you know, the body high and the mind high of this were very like two starkly different things, which was really interesting to me because as I started coming up, maybe 20 to 30 minutes in, you know, it, it it really just kind of happens. Like there's no slow and steady rise from what I felt like it just pops up. And this might've been because I was already baked going into it. So I didn't feel it as intensely, but you know, going into it as I was, you know, kind of just starting to notice these effects of it, the body high was very sedative. The body high was definitely comparable to opiates. You know, I'd say it was just very relaxing and made my, you know, just all of me felt very chill. All of me felt very good. I just felt like a big ass blob of jello with bones in it, just kind of cool in it, you know? Like I felt like my body could just sink into anything, you know? And it, I felt really good physically. But the weird thing is that even though I felt so calm and sedated physically, my mind was the polar opposite. I felt wide awake. I felt really energized and I felt really active. You know, I, I felt very lightweight, but I also felt very just, just awake. Like I, you know, one thing I was kind of curious if I could do, cause I initially, I th almost thought I was tired. Like I tricked myself into thinking I was tired by, you know, how my body felt. 
So I tried to close my eyes. And this was one of the most interesting parts for me. I tried to close my eyes, maybe like an hour into it. And I couldn't keep them closed for more than like five seconds. Like I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the fact that I was trying so hard to keep them closed, but like I just could not keep my eyes closed for any reason. And it was really weird. Like it didn't bother me, but it was just like, huh, that's that's kind of fucking weird. I guess I can't sleep for now, you know, which, uh, you know, I didn't plan to, but just, just kind of a little interesting fact. And, you know, from what I could gather, Kevin was definitely having a good time because the only thing that he said throughout this entire time was, damn, I feel fucking great. And that's exactly how I felt too. And, you know, as this progressed, I chilled at Kevin's house for maybe another two to three hours. And we were just smoking a couple bowls here and there, listening to some music. And, you know, I felt, it, it's so strange because there isn't, like, you don't really notice a come up or a come down with this, at least, you know, how I felt it, and it might be attributed to the weed mixed in, but I never really noticed a come up or a come down, like, they were both very abrupt, you know, like, all of a sudden, one second later, I feel really good and really relaxed, and my body feels very loose, but I feel very energetic in the head, and then, like, three or four, maybe even five hours later, I, I just went back to being like a little bit baked and nothing else, you know? And there definitely is a noticeable difference between just being stoned and being on Kratom, you know? Initially going into it, I figured it's going to be one of two things. It's either going to be exactly like Hydro's or I'm just going to feel pretty stoned. And that's really all that's going to happen. And I don't know why I thought that, but that's just kind of how I perceived it. And I was dead wrong. Let me tell you, this stuff felt great. Like, there is no beating around the bush here. I don't have to say it was terrible because this shit isn't illegal yet. They're trying to make it illegal, and I hope they don't now that I've experienced it. But this stuff is truly awesome, you know? It, it felt really nice. And I would say that this isn't something you should try recreationally. Like, if you're just looking for something to do, don't do what I did and just fuck around and do it. Do it if you need to. If you have, you know, problems with pain, I could see this probably being solid as fuck for pain because my whole body felt amazing. And Kevin actually has back pain, and he told me during this, you know, while we were just chilling and smoking, he was like, damn, I don't feel shit. He was like, normally my back hurts, but I'm golden. And, you know, I, I, I just... It's a difficult experience to describe because all we did was just sit in Kevin's garage and smoke weed and just like sit in his rocking chairs and just like listen to music, you know? I didn't do anything really crazy. I went home maybe two or three hours into it, drove home, played a little league when uh, I got on and I got home. And, you know, I played fine. I actually played pretty well, you know? I, I felt like in my head I was going to play like a beast because my mind was just so awake, you know? It's like... The best way to describe it to sum it up is if Adderall and Hydros had a kid, or if Adderall and Perks had a kid, actually. If Adderall and Percocets had a child, and the Adderall's DNA went to your brain, and then the Perks' DNA went only to your body, that that's like the best way that I could put this this substance, you know? It's very strange, yet very enjoyable, and I could also see it being really beneficial, you know? I could see myself being really productive on this, and for those guys watching this video wondering if whether or not it's something you should look into, I think if you want to be productive, if you want to relax, have a good time, go for it. But if you're just like a 15-year-old kid who's just trying to like go to the vape shop that doesn't ID and just get fucked up, don't do this, because it's not like... This definitely isn't a party drug, right? Like, you, you're not gonna, you know, drink some Kratom concentrate or smoke some Kratom and go to a fucking banger. Like, that's not what this is for. But if you're in, like, a very chill kind of, you know, like, I, I could see this being great for, like, Netflix and chill. You know, like, you you invite a little lady over. You know, you both, both take a little Kratom. You know, you just kind of relax, watch a movie. I, I feel like that would be pretty fire. But... Nevertheless, that's really all I had to share for this one. Nothing crazy happened during this experience, but since this is so highly requested, I figured I might as well at least talk about it. So, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did. Shout out to Lucas once again. Thanks for being a patron. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.